What is up my crafty friends? My name is Carrie and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you have watched my channel for a while now, you know that it's Fab Collab Friday and I'm so excited about this week's theme because y'all, it's lemons. I'm really, really, really over the moon thrilled about how everything turned out because I decided to make over my laundry room, as you can probably tell. It's just something about a laundry room that is decorated and pretty that makes me want to keep my clothes washed. So you know what? Whatever it takes for me to keep that laundry done, my husband is thoroughly thankful for it. Now I used a combination of Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Michaels to pull off all of these DIYs and I can't wait to show y'all what I did to make over this laundry room. If you're already subscribed to my channel, yay! Thank you for being a loyal subscriber. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on all your notifications so you don't miss anything that I've got coming your way. I'm going to link the playlist to our collaboration down below, so do not forget to go watch my girls' videos. And when you visit their videos, leave them a comment and let them know that Mama Dare's DIY sent you so they'll know exactly where you came from. Now, y'all, I cannot wait to show you everything that I did to make over this laundry room. It was so cheap and so quick and so easy. I think I brought you like five DIYs. In this quick little video, that's how quick all these DIYs were. I know, you're not used to that for me. Anyway, that's enough talking, y'all. Let's get started. So let me show you what we're going to be using for our little arrangement today. So this is one of the galvanized planners from the garden section of Dollar Tree. I've got a bunch of ribbon here. Um, some of these two came from Dollar Tree. These three actually came from Michael's. And this one I ordered off of Amazon. And then you can see I've got a bunch of lemons and a bunch of greenery and flowers. These flowers came from Michael's, as did the lemons. The fern you see here came from the Dollar Tree, and I'm super impressed with those. But the flowers on the end actually came from Dollar General, and they were a dollar just like the ones from Dollar Tree. And I have to say, their quality is just outstanding. So the first thing that we're going to do is to attach a hanger to our little planner. And to do that, I'm going to be using some jute cord that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now, I do want this to hang down about eight inches. So I'm just gonna tie me a knot at roughly eight inches. And it doesn't have to be exact. This is gonna go at the back of our planter. And I'm just gonna tie this to the front in a knot. Okay, and this is how our little planner is going to hang on our door. Now, I may go back and put a little ribbon or something to finish this off once I get it decorated, but at the moment, I'm really not sure how I want it to look. And actually, to be able to show you how to decorate this, I'm going to move all of my supplies to my door that it's going to be hanging on. That way, it'll be a lot easier so you can see what's going on. So give me just a second to set everything up, and I'll meet you in the laundry room. All right, y'all, so I've got my little bucket hung on my door and I just used one of the command adhesive hooks here and, and you can see it kind of moves well I want mine to stay stable so I'm going to use some of my super magic nano tape and I'm just going to cut a little piece off and stick it right there to my door so that my planter stays where I want it to this stuff is pretty incredible so all I need to do is to put a piece on the back here, peel the back off. It's like an industrial strength double stick tape. Okay. Now it's not going to be moving all over the place. Now I'm going to start off, it, this kind of looks like penny ward. This is what I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to be using any kind of styrofoam or anything in the bucket itself because I've got a lot of greenery that's going to go in here. So there's really no need in putting styrofoam in there because this baby is not going anywhere. So then I've got some of this neat looking fern. Now this fern I did pick up from Dollar General. And I really like the way that this looks. And you can actually move the fern pieces up and down to be as long or as short as you want them to be. This was a buck.
So I'm just going to use some of my wire cutters here. And I'm just going to clip them and just start sticking them in. I am going to want to have some pieces trailing over the side like this. And then I'll just put these down in here. And once I get everything in, I'll move it around. Okay, so now I'll add in some of this other. Okay, I'm really liking how this is looking so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in some of my flowers and also my lemons. Now this also came from Dollar General and this one was actually $2, but y'all look how pretty that is. And these stalks are so big and the flowers are made really well. So I honestly did not mind paying two bucks for this. So let's get rid of the tag here. I'm going to have to back up when this is done so y'all can see how it all looks. And don't be afraid to bend your flowers if you don't like them to be standing straight up. Because in nature, most of the time, your flowers don't stand straight up. So just feel free to bend those and just make those look more lifelike. Okay, next I'm going to go in with some more yellow, and these flowers also came from Dollar General, and they were actually just dollar. But y'all, look at the quality of these. Like, they're so nice. Really impressed with these. And I love that they're all wired. so pretty and I haven't even added the lemons yet and I absolutely love it. Okay, so these little guys I actually picked up from Michaels and they were on sale for 99 cents. Cutting the tags off of these, y'all, is the hardest part. And I'm just going to take my wire cutters and cut the stems off of these two. I'm going to leave one stem long because I think I want it to kind of trail down the side here. Now, if you wanted to, 
You could wire some of these onto a skewer if you wanted these to be a little bit taller, but because mine is gonna be so tight, I'm just gonna stick mine down in here. Oh y'all, it's so pretty already, I love it. Okay, so now let's add in a little bit of turquoise. Y'all know that I've got turquoise in my laundry room, so I've got to add in some of this pretty turquoise with this yellow. I think yellow and turquoise are just absolutely gorgeous together. Don't you think that just makes it pop? one of my flowers okay I'm really loving how this is looking it's really nice okay so before I start adding in my lemons I'm gonna put my bow on now the way that I'm gonna be making my bow today is super duper easy I'm gonna put my bow offset here a big bow over here, and I may come back over here with just some plain loops just to kind of fill in the space. But I'm going to put my bow onto this old stem that I had left over from a flower arrangement that I did. And y'all know I don't throw anything away. So this is just perfect for sticking down inside here because it camouflages in. So I'm going to start first with my black and white buffalo check ribbon. And this is the one that I picked up from Amazon. And I'm just making loops in different sizes. So. So I'm going to take my loop and I'm going to stick it to the back of my flower stem. And then I'm just going to start wiring on my loops. And y'all, if you can make a loop, you can make this bow. It's so easy. So then we're going to pick up another one. And if you want all of your pieces to be the same, then by all means, you can do the same loops for your entire bow, the same pattern. But I always like the way that it looks all mixed up. I just think it's fun and cute. But we're literally just building loops. Okay, I know it looks a little funky at the moment, but once we get our center put on and we fluff everything out, it's going to be so cute. So now I took my skinniest ribbon and I did just like I did before with my loops and I wired all of my loops together and I also gave it some tails. And then this is just going to sit right in the middle just like that. So that's going to cover up all of our mess. All of our wire. I 
and I'll fluff it as soon as I get it put on here. So now all we need to do is just stick our hanger, let me stick our plant thing down in here. So it's a little bit longer than I wanted, so I'll just clip this excess off. Okay, so I've got the I've got the stem clipped off, and now we're ready to just stick our ribbon down inside our bucket. And that little guy, I may actually have to end up sticking something in him because he does not want to stay. I will grab my good scissors and just dovetail some of my ends. Do y'all know how to dovetail? All you do is take your ribbon, fold it in half, and then just cut at an angle. Okay, so now I'm ready to put in my lemons. And these lemons I picked up from Michael's. And of course, they were on sale. So I'm just going to take and clip off each one of them and just poke them down in my arrangement. Now, my door to my laundry room stays open all the time, so that's why I'm really not worried about, you know, putting this, wiring these down. If your door is going to be open and in closing, you definitely want to wire. You want to put a skewer inside your little lemons and wire those down so that they go all the way down to the bottom. But mine's not. It's, it just stays open. Okay, I thought I wanted to put another ribbon here, but I really don't think I do. I think I just want to add in some more of these pretty white flowers. I really love these. Okay, so it's kind of looking really nice, but I do have some of this frilly fern that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I want to add that in next. I just think it's cute. I don't want a lot of it, but I do kind of like the, the airiness that it gives. So I'm going to add in some of that. Okay, so for my next DIY, I'm going to use some of these flower and garden planters from the Dollar Tree. And they look cute just like they are with some lemon setting in there, but the flower and gardens really don't go with my theme in the laundry room. So I just decided to make a cute little bow out of the Buffalo Check ribbon, and I'm going to put my lemons in this. Now, I do kind of want them to set up a little bit more, so I'm just going to put a Dollar General bag inside here and then place my lemons on top. Now, as a finishing touch, I am gonna take just some of my leftover leaves from my previous project and sort of place those down inside there. And I'm also going to add in one of the little blossoms that I used in my wreath. Now that one is done, 
So let's move it out of the way. Don't y'all think that looks much cuter than just plain? I do. For the next DIY, I'm just taking my um, mason jar with my clothespins in it, and I'm just gonna hot glue some of this cute little ribbon that I had left over from my wreath onto my jar. Just like that. All right, for the next project, I'm gonna be using one of these signs from the Dollar Tree and also some of these napkins that I picked up from Dollar General. Now, I did go ahead and cut out my letters using my Silhouette Vinyl Cutter, but if you don't have a vinyl cutter, you can always just print your words out in a Word document or in a paint document and trace it onto your glass using a paint pen or a marker or a Sharpie, not a marker. So, y'all, this is really, really easy. Believe it or not, one of our napkins here fits perfect inside this little space. And this is it. This is the project. Pop, it, pop our backing back in and then push down our little pins. And now all that's left to do is to put our decal on. Okay, there we have it. Now I'm going to do wash, dry, and fold. Okay, y'all, so for this next DIY, it's really easy. I just took an existing picture frame that I already had, put a little bit of double stick tape on it. This is my nano tape, so it's not going to ruin my, my surface underneath. And then I just printed off this cute little saying, when life gives you lemons, use them to remove the stains from your clothes. I'm just gonna set this down inside here, just like this. And now I'm gonna take some of my mini lemons that I picked up from Michaels, and I'm just gonna cut one of these in half. using my X-Acto knife. Now I'm gonna take some more of my double stick tape. And I want it to go in this corner up here. So before I stick my lemons to it, I am gonna take another one of my stems that I had left over from my previous projects. And I'm just gonna stick, stick that into the corner before I stick my lemons on. And this project is done. Isn't it cute? I absolutely love it. It was so, so simple. And besides the lemon, from our little mini lemons that I picked up from Michaels. This project was free. I absolutely love how this turned out. So quick and simple and easy. Okay, y'all, it is time for the big reveal. And this is our laundry room door. I absolutely love the way that our little basket turned out. It's so pretty. And I am the crazy person that puts their laundry detergent in a glass dish just because I think it looks pretty.
So let's pan around the room and look how cute our basket looks. That planner looks nothing like it did with that flowers and garden on it. The buffalo check ribbon just totally transforms it. I love these little baskets from Dollar General. They turned out really cute and was just perfect for that. There's our wash, dry, and fold little signs we made. So quick and easy. And I just added in a little bit of ribbon and some lemons for a little bit of sink decoration. Let's pan around the room and let me show you this. This sign is perfect because y'all, I actually do make a lemon stain remover that I use in my laundry. So that's why this little sign is just perfect for this space. And that is my lemon stain remover in that little spray bottle there. If you're interested in that recipe, I'll put a link to that down below. Okay, y'all, that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me. And until next time, happy DIYing, y'all.